Hi everyone, today I thought I'd do a quick sketch of a little group of cows. And so I'm using some watercolour paper and a blue watercolour marker. And what I plan on doing is I'll use blue for this particular cow and then switch to a different colour for the next one and a different colour again for the next one and so on and so on and so on. And then Depending on how things work out, I might move some of the watercolour around with just a clean wet brush in a moment. But we'll see how things go. But the idea is to try and keep things fairly loose and lively. But at the same time capture the interaction between this little group of animals. So there's our first cow beginning to take shape. All right, next up I've switched to black and uh, there's another little, there's another cow just kind of sneaking in here to the right of the, the first one. And mostly in shadow, actually. So keep things fairly simple for, well, the, the whole treatment is going to be fairly simple for this uh, drawing, but um, especially so for, for this animal. I think that's probably enough, actually, for that one, certainly for the moment. Let's go to orange then for the next cow and this one this one is uh, over to the right again as you would expect because I, I started all the way over on the left of the painting but we can see much more of this animal now the, the head's down with this cow and I actually now realize I've spaced it out a little bit too much compared to my reference but that's okay. In terms of the drawing, that's still going to work okay. And one of the things you notice when you when you paint groups of animals is, you know, they they do all have their own distinct look, and not not just in terms of the patterns of the hide and the their color coloring, but uh, you know, just the way they move and the way they shape their face, just like humans, really. You know, they will. The the differences are often more subtle to our eyes, but they're definitely there. Now the next cow is actually white in colour, but obviously I can't draw in white, so I'm actually going to switch to purple. So my plan is to have five animals, so I'm going to go blue, black, orange, purple, and then back to blue, just to give us a little bit of... So the two blue animals will kind of bookend the, 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 the group.
there's cow number four. And then finally, to finish off, the, the cow on the right here is a little bit more in the foreground compared to the others. Not, not much, but enough that um, you'll, you'll see in a moment the head is kind of sweeping forward a little bit more into the foreground than the others. Now, having outlined these five animals, so far I'm quite happy with the, you know, it's a simple composition, but they're kind of huddled together in the way that cows do. So what I plan on doing is continuing with the blue. I'm just going to pop in the cast shadows that are on the ground here. Or, or rather, I'm just popping in the outlines of those shadows at the moment. And then... As I said earlier, I'm going to come in with my clean, damp brush and just introduce some selective tone here and there. But then that's going to be pretty much it. I'm going to keep things fairly simple for this particular painting. So with my uh, clean but damp brush, I'm now just going to uh, move the watercolour marker around a bit just to pop in the key areas of shadow. So I'm not going to do any detail at all in this particular piece. But hopefully what we can do is just very simply and efficiently create a sense of form and three dimensions by just picking out the main areas of shadow. So we don't want to get, we don't want to fall into the trap of trying to pick out detail. Now I've got, you know, I've moved blue around, so I'm going to stick with that and, uh, Keep going with that blue for these cast shadows. And then in just a second, I'll clean my brush to, do, to deal with the other colours. Now, obviously, the, the field that these uh, animals are standing in isn't, isn't blue. Um, funnily enough, you know, it's, it's green, but uh, that's, that's OK. We're doing our own thing today. So this is a really useful exercise for training you, training yourself to look at things as patterns of light and dark rather than looking at a cow and seeing it as a cow. It, it really helps you to detach from, from what you're actually drawing or painting. And if you can get into that mindset of a sort of considered detachment, then uh, it really puts you in a good place, a good mental space to do uh, efficient, well-observed, expressive work. You know, if you get too caught up worrying about things looking like they should, then it's easy to start painting things as you think they should be rather than as they are and uh, generally speaking that doesn't lead to the best results you know so one of the things that uh, has happened with this particular painting is that the colors i'm choosing 
a kind of determining the, the strength of shadow I can put down. So with this orange, I can't create as deep a shadow with the particular technique I'm using as there should be. But that in itself is an interesting effect. So that's one of the really lovely things about um, experimenting with different techniques and different materials is you can just naturally and automatically create effects that you would you might struggle to create with with a different material and you know it's also cool if you if you force yourself to if you limit yourself deliberately so in this case I've said I'm only going to do line and I'm only going to move the paint around with a damp brush that restriction forces me to make decisions and so I've ended up creating something that I might not have created had I just stuck to the normal way of doing things. So I'm just going to add a quick little signature to this one. And we'll call this little study of five cows done, I think. Uh, so thanks very much for watching this little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something from it. If you've got any questions at all, please remember to leave me a comment below the video. And please remember to hit that like button. And if it's your first time here, please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Uh, I release videos every single Sunday. So I hope to see you next week for the next episode of The Sunday Art Show. Thank you very much for watching.